In this episode, we are going to look at resistance in series circuits. Now, in a circuit where we have two or more resistors, we want to find the total resistance or how these resistors are going to behave when they are connected in series. So, pay attention in this episode. So, let's have our diagram. If we have a circuit connected in series, with our resistors this way. And we have our third resistor here. So this is our voltage source. And this is our diagram. So we have our voltage, total voltage here. We have our resistor 1, resistor 2, resistor 3, and resistor 4. So this is a series connected circuit with four resistors. And you know that each resistor is offering a resistance to the flow of what? Current. So how do we know the total resistance being offered by these four resistors? Are we okay? So that's what we want to look at. But then we will understand that this is series what? Connected. This is a series circuit. So if this is a series circuit, we understand that the same current I is flowing through the circuit. And we also know that the voltage, the total voltage, is equal to the voltage drop across resistor 1, voltage across resistor 2, voltage across resistor 3, and voltage at resistor 4. So having that established, we can write the expression as this Vt is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus V4, our equation 1. Are we okay? Forget about the current because we know current I. We can also establish the IT, which is the total current from the source is equal to the current flowing through resistor 1 and it is equal to current in resistor 2, current in resistor 3 and current in resistor 4. Are we okay? So from equation 1 and from the Ohm's law, we know that our V is equal to I multiplying the resistance. So here from equation 1, we can find an expression as our Vt can also be written as I R, but here we are going to add T because it is the total resistance from the total voltage. And this is going to be I for the V1, R1 plus I, R2, current R3, and the current R4. So now we have it this way. Can we write it as I RT equal to say the same current is flowing through? I'll factorize it out. R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 this way. Now I can divide both sides by current I and here by I. And my final expression is going to be RT should be equal to R1 plus R2 plus r3 plus r4 are you okay so this expression is telling us that the total resistance of the four resistors is going to be the summation of all the resistance by each resistor are you okay so if i want to find the total resistance offered by the resistors as my rt it is going to be the summation of the resistance offered by resistor 1, resistor 2, 3, and 4 when they are in series circuits. Is that correct? All right, so having this, it is very simple to now go by. So the three things in a series connected circuit, which is current, our current, our voltage, and our resistance.
Now we have the expression for current as the same current will flow through the circuit. For voltage, summation of the voltage drops across each resistor. And for the resistance, it is going to be the RT, total resistance, is going to be the summation of the resistance by each resistor. Let's take an example and find the total resistance offered. Example 1. Find the total resistance from the diagram below. So we have this circuit. A nicely drawn circuit in series so we have our voltage as 10 or 100 volts we have an ammeter which is measuring the current flow and this is two amps we have resistor 1 as 5 ohm resistor 2 15 resistor 3 as 20 and resistor 4 as 10 so now let's look at what the question is asking us it says we should find the total resistance. Are we good? So let's first write our solution and list down our parameters. So inside the diagram, I have my voltage as VT, which is the total voltage as 100 volts. I also have the current flow measured by the emitter as 2 amps. I have resistor 1 as 5 ohms, resistor 2 as 15 ohms, and I have resistor 3 as, as 20 ohms, and resistor 4 as 10 ohms. Are we clear? So now, we are to find total resistance. We've also established that for a series diagram, the total resistance RT is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus up to the last resistor. Are we okay? So now here we have four resistors offering a resistance. So our total resistance is going to be R1, R2 plus R3 plus R4 since they are four resistors. So what is the resistance offered by resistor one? That is five ohms. Resistor two is offering 15 ohms. Resistor three is also offering 20 ohms and resistor four is offering 10 ohms. Therefore, our total resistance is going to give us what? 5 and 15, 20, 40, and 50 ohms for the total resistance. Because they are in series, it is the addition of the individual resistances. Are we okay? We can also solve this with an approach from the Ohm's law, which states that our VT is going to be our I and R. But here we are talking about the total voltage, same current, meaning total resistance. Are we good? So if we are saying this way, then let's look at how we can find the total resistance. Can we say our RT is the total voltage on the current, which implies that our RT, total resistance. Now the total voltage is 100 volts and the current flowing through the series circuit is 2 amps which will give us 50 ohms for the resistance so since we have 50 ohms resistance being offered by the four resistors we can redraw this diagram again and combine all the resistors to one which will produce the same effect as the four of them so let's look at the diagram so here we have our voltage source the same thing as our 100 volts we have our ammeter as two amperes and we have this resistor just a single resistor 
50 ohms. So this diagram is going to produce the same effect as this diagram because the four resistors are producing 50 ohm resistance, which is the same as this single resistor giving us a 50 ohm resistance. So this is also true. Let's look at the second example. So example two, find the value of R2 in the circuit below. So we have a circuit with three resistors and we have to find the resistance offered by the resistor two. We have the voltage 100 resistor one, two ohms resistor three as 10 ohms and an ammeter measured the current flowing through the circuit as for ampere. So straight away, let's look at what we can do. So our parameters, we know that our VT total voltage is 100 volts and resistor one is giving us two ohms. Resistor two is unknown. That's what we are looking for. And our resistor three is giving us 10 ohms. We also have the current through the circuit as for amperes. So since this is a series connected circuit, we know that our resistance, which is the total resistance, is the summation of all the resistances, which is R1 plus R2 plus R3. But here we can know the value of R1, R3, but here we have two unknowns, RT and R2. So for now, we cannot use this equation. Let's call this equation one. Are we good? So we also know that there's an expression for a series connected circuit that VT is going to be equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3, which is giving us I RT here. Are we good? equal to i r1 plus i r2 plus i r4 or 3 here so now what do we do we can see that our total voltage was given the multiplication of i and rt is going to give us this vt but from the question, we have our VT as 100. This is 100. The multiplication of I and RT is 100. Now, we also know I, R1 as 2 ohms plus I, we don't know R2 plus I multiplying R3, which is also. 10. Now, from the question, we've seen that our current I is giving us 4 amperes. So that is going to be our 100 should be equal to 2 multiplying the I, which is 4. 2 by 4 plus I, which is 4 multiplying R2 plus 4 multiplying 10 this way and we have 100 to be equal to our 8 plus 4 r2 plus 40. so now we can see that it is only r2 we are looking for so our 4 r2 should be 100 minus 8 minus 40 and when you make R2 the subject, our R2 is going to give us 13 ohms from that. So from the circuit, the value of the resistor 2 is equal to 13 ohm. If we want to verify if this is correct, we can also do it. And let's see how we can verify if our 13 ohms is right. Now, from this equation one, can we say our RT is equal to 
vt on i from the ohm's law which is going to give us vt is 100 on the current which is 4 meaning the total resistance is going to give us what 25 is that right 100 divided by 4 that is 25 ohm so from the circuit the total resistance is 25 and from equation 1 let's look at it now if this 25 which is total r1 from the question is 2 and our r2 we calculated as 13 plus r3 which is 10 plus it is 3 resistors so this so let's see if this is going to give us 25 this and that will give us 15 plus 10 and that is going to be 25 so meaning our 13 ohm is correct for example so thank you for watching this episode check out for the next episode which is the voltage divider rule thank you